Good morning, everybody. I'm sure you all slept well, and um, hopefully some of you are just waking up like us. Now, my name is Taylor, and on camera with me today is Manu, and we are driving around. I think I've just seen a new bird. Can you see that one that just landed in that tree? Luckily for us, there's not too many trees out in the barn, but there's bright. There we go. Just on the right-hand side of the tree, there's a big black and white bird sitting in there. Are you a black and white cask hornbill? Because I have not seen one of you yet, and you did have a big cask on the top of your bill. Now, it's, of course, very, very difficult because it is sitting on those branches. But with that big white band across the body, I think it just might be. I'm just trying to think. I don't have my massive Africa or Birds of Africa book, but I might have a little pocket guard. Shall we try and fish it out of my camera box and see if we can have a look? Isn't that a great way to start the morning, possibly with a new bird species for me? And I don't think it's an easy one to get on camera. I wonder how many times, but before I even do that, let me try and confirm it. I've got to find it in the book here, H, 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 Hornbill. 92 is the page we need to go to. Is it it? I think that it is indeed, because they have a very white rump. And that's exactly what we can see over there on the right-hand side of the screen. You can just see it moving around every now and then. Very, very, very cool. There we go. And a new bird I can add to my Myra list. And just, well, it's a lifer for me. I've always wanted to see them. I just wish it would come and sit out, out in the open for all of us. Wouldn't that be nice if we could get a decent look at it? But now you know if you don't see the beak and the head of the bird, if you find yourself looking at a black and white bird that's got... Oh, listen, it's calling. That, that's the zebra now going... Beep, 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 beep. But that... Rah, 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 rah. It's almost like a toned-down trumpeter hornbill call, because the trumpeter hornbill sounds like a baby screeching. It's calling again. And this is sort of more pleasant. This would not wake me up first thing in the morning. This was actually quite a subtle call. It's really beautiful. That's really nice. I've never heard them call either. So maybe we're going to have a day of firsts today. You can also hear the Birchall's cuckoos. There it goes. There, now you can see that it is a black and white cask hornbill. Awesome. That's amazing. Look at all that white. Goodness gracious, you won't be missing that bird. It stands out like a sore thumb like against the green canopy. Wonderful. But what I'll do is I'll show you a picture of it, though. If you have a look here. Let me try to hold it up. So that one. Beautiful. Well, hopefully we'll get to see it up close next time, but that's okay. That was a good enough view for the first time. Now, NASCAR, you're wondering if we get blue or red hornbills. I'm just going to go to the next page over here. And blue or red hornbills. Red or yellow hornbills. We do. We get the eastern yellow-billed hornbill, which looks slightly different to the southern yellow-billed hornbill. Uh, not too much different. So it's a very dark sort of eye, and it almost has a, looks like it has a stripe, a grayish-black stripe going past its eye and then the bottom left of the page you'll be able to see the the red-billed hornbill i'm not sure if it's uh maybe it's the same species i have i have seen it looks almost exactly the same as the southern red-billed hornbill whether it's the southern maybe it's the eastern as well they're all fairly similar to one another that was a great start to the morning adding a new bird list now for those of you who have 